We are back here on Tough Talk, now joined by the fifth-ranked women's bantamweight and Tough Season 18 winner, the Venezuelan vixen, Juliana Pena. Thanks so much for stopping by. Thank you guys for having me. It's quite a highlight reel. Got me fired up. Oh goodness, for yeah. sure. So I want to ask you first and foremost, what do you think of the strawweights this season and how they're doing? Uh, I'm super impressed with the strawweights. Those girls are bringing it, and uh, I would expect nothing less, especially when you're on the Ultimate Fighter. That's your chance to go out there and really show the world what you got. So you walked away from season 18 as the first female Ultimate Fighter winner. What was your experience like on the show? It was a great experience. You don't ever get a chance to focus on yourself solely as a fighter. You know, uh, it's an individual sport, and it's definitely the time to hone in on your skills and to just really focus and look at the finish line. So it was a great experience for me. You get to eat like a king, live in a mansion, not pay bills, not deal with any of the outside drama in the world. So for me, I loved it. And you were certainly very intense when you were fighting and, and, and still are a very intense fighter. As we see on this season, Joanna and Claudia have a very big rivalry, obviously. Me Nisha and Rhonda had a big rivalry. How much do you think that added to your intensity and the other fighters on the show? Uh, you know, it was super intense. You're living in a place, well, aside from the fighters, I meant the coaches are around each other all the time. They already don't like each other. We're fighters, we're not ballerinas, you know? And so it makes it for a very intense situation. Everyone wants to win, the coaches want to win, they want their fighters to win. So it's pretty awkward at times and you're definitely Walking on eggshells at times, you don't know if the other coach is gonna chime in and do something bad, you know? So it's kind of a, a weird situation. Would you ever want to coach on a season of the Ultimate Fighter? Oh gosh, I would die. I would love to be a coach, <laughs> absolutely. I'm pretty bossy, and so I think that I would I would actually thrive in a coaching environment for sure. I want to see it. I, I would see it too. Yeah. Well, obviously, you know, you are a professional fighter. You made it out of the show. You won the show, and you've got a huge fight coming up at UFC 200. You are taking on uh, Katz and Gano. How big of a deal is this for you? This is a huge deal for me. Um, UFC 200 is such a huge card, and it's such an honor to be a part of that. I'm super grateful grateful for the opportunity and I'm ready to show the world that I belong and I'm, I'm ready to get my hand raised on July 9th. You know, if you get the win pa past Katz and Gano, you know, where does that put you? Obviously, it's, it's kind of tricky right now that Ronda's out there, you know, Holly Holmes out there. Do you think that uh, warrants a title shot? I definitely think so. You know, I beat everybody that they've put in front of me from all those girls on The Ultimate Fighter to everybody that they've put in front of me since no one else has been on that big of a win streak besides Ronda. And I think that I definitely have earned uh, getting a title shot. You know, I wonder, you know, you've had some well-documented legal troubles and I'm curious, did that pull any focus away from you or does it feel good to get that out of the way and be able to just focus back on fighting? You know, it was just one of those things that was a wrong place at the wrong time and I definitely think that I've learned from it. You know, I'm not perfect and uh, I've never claimed to be perfect and especially when you're living under a microscope, it can get kind of crazy out there. I think I've learned from it and uh, I've grown from it and now it's just time to focus on, on me getting my hand raised on July 9th. How hard is Kat going to be to beat, though? I mean, where do you think she's most dangerous? Kat's a very high-level fighter, and she's been in some very high-level fights. Um, I think that the most important thing that I can do is focus on myself and what I know that I can do and just implement my own style and my own game plan to make for the most exciting fight possible. So Misha was your coach on The Ultimate Fighter. She's the champ right now. Um, would you fight her, and, and how would that experience me. <laughs> you know, I get that question a lot and no one ever asks Misha that question. So I always feel like I'm always having to answer the same question over and over. Me and Misha have discussed uh, fighting each other. We said the only way that we would fight each other is if her or I had the belt. Right. Now that she has the belt and when I get my hand raised, um, be it July 9th, then uh, I will ask for a title shot. And I only think that that's right. Um, and I'm sure she will accept, uh, be it that she she wins, which I'm, I'm sure she will. Yeah, I was, I was curious to get your assessment of her fight with Amanda Nunes. How do you think yeah. that'll go? I think Misha's gonna win. Yeah? Yes. Of course. And did it, you know, were you surprised at all that you were her first pick, or is that something that you guys had kind of talked about before the show? <laughs> oh, no, well, we didn't talk about it at all. In yeah. fact, I wasn't even, I did not think that she was gonna be a coach. I thought that it was gonna be Kat That's Zagano. Right. So um, to see her, you know, they said, hey, come meet the coaches, and, and Misha's there. I'm like, oh, she's just here to wish us a good season. Right. And they told me what happened, and, and uh, that Kat blew out her knee, and so Misha was the new coach, so when they, 
called me first. I was just as shocked as everybody else, actually. I was not expecting that. That's cool. Yeah. All right, well, speaking of knees, I see that scar, but I'm glad to see that you are back in action and, uh, and the injuries behind you Yeah, as well. you know, I've been ran over by a car before and had my nose shattered. I've had my <laughs> arm snapped in half in a fight and kept fighting. I've tore four <laughs> out of five ligaments in my knee. Um, that's not gonna stop me, and uh, I don't think anything will, and with a mind like that and with the strong belief that I have in myself, I think that I'm capable of doing anything.